A lot of stuff going on today. Today we are finally drawing blood on Annabelle and Lexi, as well as our three goats, Mocha, Maple, and Brownie, to send off pregnancy tests to find out if they are bred. Yeah! So hopefully, hopefully the results are um, are good. Hopefully we got some bred Except ladies. Except for late Lexi. Yes, we don't want Lexi bred. She's too young. But they got her and our bull, bull Axel got together one day and I came out and they were in the pasture together. I didn't physically see him mount her so and she has had periods when the, um, recently where she's acted like she's in heat so I'm hoping that she's not bred but just to be safe we're gonna get her, te her tested as well. If you recall um, we had some problems recently with our solar fence energizer, our Parmac. We've got a Parmac solar fence energizer and um, we were having issues with the fencing. So we uh, recently we caved and we sent it off to Parmac to get serviced. They ended up finding a lot of things wrong with it. They repaired it. It's back. It's charging. So hopefully, um, hopefully it's good now, and uh, we don't have any issues. Something else we're doing today. We've got a lot of the Brazilian pepper bushes that we've been pulling up. They've been sitting and drying out. They're now fully dry, and we're going to be burning those so we can kind of declutter because we've got a lot of stuff that we've been clearing out stuff but then we haven't been hauling it off site so it's been just piling up we've got vines that I've pulled up we've got the, the, the pepper bushes that we pulled up and so we're gonna finally burn that off I got the generator fired up and we're gonna work on that that is a beautiful sight we got the garden space carved I've got seeds coming in on their way in. I'm gonna do a video here soon, might do a live. I haven't done a live in a while. Maybe we'll do a live chat, a live video, um, going over our seed haul that we got coming in. So that's tarped, it's resting. I'm gonna lift up the tarp, give it a little spritz down of water just to um, hydrate it. Um, you want moisture in for compost to be able to, you can comp uh, debris won't compost down if it's dry. And um, I don't know if it's dry under there. So we're gonna lift it up and give it a good spritz. I got the peach tree. Unfortunately, the other peach had died. I pulled that up, but I got the other peach tree staked as well as one of the apple trees. That just leaves me with one apple tree left to stake, but it's looking pretty good. We've also got some peaches coming in. wait to have peaches off of our fruit tree. Look at that bad boy. Yeah. It's tiny, but it's going to be awesome to have our peaches. While I did get the apple tree staked down, we don't yet have any apple blossoms. I'm hoping I see a lot of new growth coming in. So I'm hoping that this is the apple blossoms coming in soon because the last time that they bloomed blossom was around the time that the peaches did. So hopefully we'll get some blossoms. But I'm seeing a lot of new growth coming in, which is favorable. Hopefully we get some blossoms like these. These look like blossoms coming in, but we won't know quite yet. Got Noah and Leon out here hauling brush for me. This is Noah. You guys probably haven't met him yet. He's a he's the son of a very dear friend of mine. He wanted to start working on the farm, so we brought him out here and he's gonna start helping out. 
Why don't you take a break, bud? Okay, you guys did awesome. We got almost all the brush loaded up. He's been hauling over the vines. I can get maybe one or two more loads if you want. I leave that up to you, buddy, if you're feeling warm. I go sit it. in the car, the AC's going, okay? I can go don't push it. yourself too hard, bud. But so far, we've pretty much got almost everything already piled up and burnt. It's almost smoldering. I'm about to rake it up into a pile. All right, so get a section of it. Nope. Come on, grab it. Bring the back in. Use that arm. Use your left. Use your left arm, bud. Try it. All right. You guys did awesome. Like seriously, thank you so much, Noah. High five, buddy. That was some good teamwork, huh? So, so, if you guys didn't notice, Leon, you guys didn't notice, show him what's different, bud. You got his cast off today. Reach out, buddy. See, touch my hands. You can't quite straighten it out quite yet, but we'll start working on some physical therapy. Stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out. Don't stretch your shoulder. We'll get him, we'll get him back up and going. Good job, buddy. We can't have all work and no play. Kids are saddling up the horses. All right, so it's a little darker, but we're gonna go ahead and get the blood drawn. I just thought about it. Um, I know how to draw blood on horses. Goats are a very similar way. You're gonna go for the vein in the neck. Um, but they got a lot of fur because they got their winter coat and I don't have clippers, so this might work, it might not work. This might not work with her because they're, they're furry. But let me see if I can. I might not be able to record it because she gets squirmy. You wanna do it tomorrow? Do it tomorrow? Uh, we do it has to be in first thing in the morning. Lexi did a really good job getting into the stanchion for the first time. That's a good girl. Not like so we're going to let her just kind of chill out here and figure things out. Get used to the stanchion before we draw blood on her. 